Yes, this is Coventry, United Kingdom. We're on Charter Avenue. And we're going past the fish and chip shop. And over there is um, Ten Shilling Woods. We normally go down through that. We come down past Parkwood. This is Ten Shilling Wood. And, uh, but it's so muddy in there now. Uh, unless you've got your boots on, it's a bit of a game to get through there. Well, it's 10 degrees here, which uh, to us feels very warm. It's a very nice day. I've got my coat undone and my jacket unzipped because it's rather a nice day. 10 degrees. When I told our friend that it was so warm, it was 10 degrees, our friend in at Raj in India, in, in Gurgaon, um, she thought that was funny. 10 degrees is warm. She said that would be freezing cold for us. But things are warming up. I was talking to another friend yesterday in Gurgaon, Viboti, and she was saying uh, that it is warming up. And I think I heard the same from Raj. So things are picking up. Now, I wonder how long it'll be before the other stores can open. Is the shops down here. I don't know what that legend is. Sandwich shop. That's a new one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder when the Sovereign Pub will be able to open again. Um, I'm, I'm sort of guessing June that may well be open. Just a thought. But uh, they want to open things up in a way where they won't have to lock down again. There's a teddy bear on a bike over there. I don't know why, but he is. But I hope everybody, wherever you are in the world, are staying safe and well. I chatted to a friend in Czechoslovakia this morning, and she told me the whole family had had it. And uh, But they're all okay now. So, But it was lovely to catch up. We met way, way back many, many years ago in Croatia, and it was lovely to have a catch up today after such a long time on video so now we're going past uh, the blocks of flats they were all done up there's two or three lots oh excuse me uh, two or three blocks of flats along here these two here and i think there's another three or four back up there on the left and um i think they did them all up by putting the insulation and then redecorating the outside of them so they're all nice and snug um, now. Now we're coming to the road where we went down the other day. That's the end of Ten Shilling Wood. And uh, I can see the catkins over there. Well, as boring as this may be, just walking along the street, I'm sorry about that. It's, it's the nature of how things are now. We've taken our lives in our hands and walking all the way down to Tesco's from ours. And, uh... About two miles. I don't do miles. Well, it's about two miles. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <coughs> Kilometres. Um... Yes, I don't know how far in kilometres it is. I'll let you know later, perhaps. But uh, I'll thank you for, despite, as I say, the, how boring this particular one is, I'll uh, thank you if you were to subscribe, if you haven't already, and thank you if you have. This is the Rambling Rambler, Dave to his friends, imploring you. Please like, share, and ring the bell. or make the Rambling Rambler so happy. Right. Well, I'm having lots and lots of friends now telling me little by little, some who are a lot younger than us now, they've had their injection. We are, I think we're on to about 16 million now have been uh, vaccinated in the UK. Death rates and uh, uh, cases are, are dropping. Although, of course, they are still testing and tracing for the new 
Experian. That's a rather smart fence. I saw somebody cutting the hedge back the other day. It's a, a wany edged fence with the godfathers and the posts. That's handy. So a lot of these houses down here now have been turned into um, flats for students. Um, so many of them now are, are flats. A lot of them have been altered or added to. And uh, the ones over there, those two there, enormous. That's all been sort of knocked into one. I think that's now a block of flats. You can see there's an extension out the back, up in the roof. The roof light's been put in. Been working on that for quite a long time. And um, people down here are always being asked to um, sell their houses so they can be, size, be turned into flats. Sorry? They're doubled in size. Yeah, they're doubled in size, yeah. They're not so much flats, I don't think, as individual rooms. Individual rooms. I don't know how they work, but those two have been done in a similar way over there. Big porches on this one. And uh, Chinese New Year things I can see on those. So those are obviously Chinese students in those ones. I, I feel for them a little bit. They've come over here to study at Warwick University, which of course is in Coventry, obviously. And um, now they're finding a lot of their lectures are online. I hope they're going to have a reduced cost because 9,000 a year to sit in your flat, which you could have done back in China, seems a bit stupid to me. So I would hope they would uh, seek and achieve quite a considerable reduction in fees. Yeah, I doubt it too, but uh, that would be in order. Because if you're sitting at home, the, the logic is you wouldn't need to come here. You've come here for the experience and nobody's pretending that it's uh, anything but the virus that's caused the problem. But at the end of the day, it's not their fault. And uh, they shouldn't be paying the full fees. They're sitting at home in a room uh, doing lectures. And I do feel for them because they've come over here to, to get a taste of the life here and uh, a university experience. And what they're having is the experience of sitting in a flat or room or whatever and um, not having the real experience. Well, well, I was talking, as I said, to my friend, our friend in uh, Czech Republic. And uh, I think I said Czechoslovakia before, but no, Czech Republic. And uh, we were talking of holiday times and they've managed to get to Poland it, it, it's in between lockdowns and what have you so and uh, so that's worked well for them but they they actually last year I believe before the, or the year before were in the UK so that uh, we missed them because they they sort of traveling they have to get right up to Scotland it would have been a job to arrange a meetup. Now look at this. This is special, isn't it? What sort of special person would do this? Look at it. Look. There you go. I've got a big lorry so I could drive on the grass. Look at it. I can only hope they got stuck and have to pay a premium to get dug out. Why would these idiots drive all over this grass? It's not the owners because they've got the driveways. This is idiot lorries smashing up all the turf. Unbelievable. Never mind, we'll leave that aside. Settle down. Well, what I'm going to do is thank you very much for watching. You're one of one million and fifty-two thousand odd. So thank you very much. And I'll say bye for now. And uh, have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay well. Bye from the Rambling Rambler. Dave to his friends.